attempt to communicate in a language that is not even my own. Oh, I can see her turning around in class going off on somebody. Yes. <laughs> what the what? What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shats React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. To the girl in English class, what is funny? What is hilarious about my painful attempt to communicate in a language that is not even my own? Oh, I can see her turning around in class going off on somebody. Yes. <laughs> what the what? I'll show. See, so Sierra sits in front of the class. I sit in the <laughs> back, right? So when she turned around, I get the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sierra turned around with her trying to see what's going on. So I'm watching everything happening. Yeah. I can definitely see that. So, so. That's crazy. I think I'm going to leave my little, my little story time to the end. This, this video isn't that long. But I mean, she came out. Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pop. <laughs> Pop. Boy, boy, boy. To the girl in English class, what is funny? What is hilarious about my painful attempt to communicate in a language that is not even my own? Mm. See, this accent tells a story of survival. Mm. Tells how my mother tongue endured to this day, so I expect you treat my tongue with some respect. Every word, every syllable I utter comes from a riot within my mouth. Girl, you ever had somebody tell you, you better respect my tongue. Mm, I ain't had nobody to say me that. Golly. Mm, mm, mm. That's sharp. Mm. Man. It's a babble between subconscious, tongue, teeth, and vocal cord. So excuse you if my speech does not suit you. So this mm. speech comes from this slaughterhouse I call a mouth. See, my mouth is a battlefield. Ooh. A clash of unyielding cultures, warring for dominance. See, my tongue is a traumatized survivor. Ooh. Lost in this alien fluency. See, this accent is how I find my way home. Ooh. How I say EDP without biting my tongue. See, my tongue is forever at war with itself. Forever fighting to decolonize itself. Fighting to lose and regain itself all at the same time. So cut me some slack. I put it... Ooh, that was hot, sister. She's sharp. That was hot. Ooh. That well, was hot. You, you know they say that your tongue is like a sword. Mm-hmm. And you can use it. like it, your, your, mm -hmm. your tongue is a weapon. Believe it or yeah. not, you hurt people, you, you help people. You can yeah. do a lot with your tongue. You can't take your words back. You here. cannot take your words back once it's said. But, yo, how she is coming with these words. Yes, and how I she's mean, pronouncing them and how she's giving the energy behind it. It's like, bro, that's sharp as heck. We're so privileged. Man. Now, I don't know exactly. I guess she's just talking to the general public. But, you know, being in America, we, we don't have to. Yes. Okay. So in school, you know, we have to learn a language. We do. Mm -hmm. But we don't have to make that language our second language. Like, we... Most people just learn it to pass the class, if I'm being honest. Um, and we'll keep, like, a couple things, but we don't, like, English is our main language. Right. Right? So, just to be in a predicament or a, a situation where you have to learn another language and then people are laughing at the way mm. you're saying it, 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 it makes you feel bad. It, it messes with your self-esteem, you know? Yeah. So... That's that's shoes I've never been in before. Yeah. But no, no, you know what? no. We've been well, trying to say some things in other facts. languages, and people be laughing at us. Well, I used to uh be that little kid in class whenever everybody had to read. Mm. I was counting them sentences. I was trying to see what, what my sentence is about to come up next. Because I didn't like to read in front of the class. Mm -hmm. I can read, but I didn't like to read in front of the yeah, class. Yeah, I was the one me? that was like, can I read for him? She's in front of the class. And I'm like, <laughs> take it on, girl. You got that. But I feel where she's coming from. So, yeah. like, when you have a, a, a way of speaking and your language is broken amongst the ones who know it very right. professionally. Yeah, they have people who do that. I've never was a type. I know you was never as a type mm -hmm. to want to laugh at somebody who uh -huh. can't properly, you know, pronounce the word. And I have a, uh, a, sentence, a personal uh, little story paragraph, about you that. Feel me? I have a personal story. Should have been my friend. Mm -hmm. We'd be like, you good, bro. Ignore them. I will not be ashamed nor refrain from saying my name and no, I will not apologize for my mother's legacy. Mm. For there is no dignity in denying my identity. Mm, so yes. to the girl in English class, it's about time you learn my own language. 
Okay. <laughs> Come on, bro. She say learn my language. Okay, Man, I like it. I can hear her like in class standing up and talking like that. And the teacher like, sit down. Mm -hmm. No, sit down. Like, ain't no fight about to start. She's just giving her a piece of her mind. Right. And that's how you got to do it sometimes. But right. To put people in their place. So, my personal testimony, not testimony, <laughs> personal story is I moved um, to, you know, I feel like we we have a lot of people from the South as followers now. Not followers. We'll call y'all followers. Sorry. Um, a lot of supporters from the South um, now. So uh, some people may know what this is. But I moved from um, New Orleans in Baton Rouge. I, I lived in Baton Rouge for like a year or two. Right. But I moved from New Orleans to my dad in New Iberia. And this was around the time... Um, Hurricane Katrina came. Okay. So I moved with my dad like two weeks before Katrina. Right? So it just so happened that we got an influx of, you know, um, New Orleans citizens at the school that I was going to. Everywhere across Louisiana. Did, everywhere across the world did. Yeah. New right? Orleans was just, came in like a flood. For yeah. Real. Um, and at the time I had a heavy New Orleans accent. And I, okay, my mom have a heavy New Orleans accent. And yes, so I spoke exactly like my mom. Like now I have like maybe I guess a universal accent unless I'm around family or unless it just naturally get, flows out at that point. I'm the same yeah, way. Yeah, 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 or unless I get angry. If I get angry, baby, you gonna hear all of the uh New Orleans come out. Okay. Seasoning. So uh <laughs> <It's just seasoning. laughs> so um, I would pronounce certain word certain words the way I've always pronounced it. In New Orleans, mm -hmm. I was never corrected to say the correct terms, um, correct pronunciation in New Orleans because everybody uh, mostly spoke that way. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I remember um, I've always loved education, I've always loved learning, and I was always the person who would raise my hand to um, answer questions. And I said a, a number. It was either like, it was one of the numbers with the TH at the end, like fifth. Eight. Fifth. Eight. Fifth. Eight. Not really eight. But for example, fifth, fifth. See, I just said it. I would say fifth. Oh, I would, snap. I would pronounce it with an F, like F I F. Like one, two, three, four, fifth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember this one time, this boy was like, girl, what you said? And I, I, I repeated it. I didn't think anything was wrong. And he was like, it's fifth. And I'm like, fifth. <laughs> like, don't be trying to correct me. Right. But it's just like, that's my personal. And I would never forget that story. And so, you know, in going into, um, <clears throat> you know, the extracurricular activities that I was in. And then when I got to college. Um, pro professional voice training and you know I've learned you know to talk a little universal you know drop the little accent because you, you got places that you're trying to go in life right, right? put more punctuals on them yeah on them letters make it more punctual right um so that's kind of like my my relation so nah, what I feel like, to say yeah it's, it's basically the same thing people mm -hmm. want to correct the way you speak because mm -hmm. it's not you know, it's it's foreign to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just because it's foreign to you don't mean it's wrong, bro. Right, right. It can be wrong. It's just you're not used to it. And um, that's just how life is. People just got to accept what they don't know sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're in a great position to... And I, I know people's like making you say baby all yes, the time. Yes, yes, Say baby for us <laughs> one time. Yeah, because the way yeah. they talk out there in New Orleans is so different. It's so, like, it's earthy. Like, it's really mm. real. Like, it, yeah. it gets concrete. So... Yeah. It's unique and it's different. I like it. Yeah. And so um, another thing that I have to say about this topic is I feel like I don't again, I don't know who she's talking about, but she's talking about English speakers, I guess. I feel like in America, we need to be pushed to learn other languages and not just the core languages like Spanish, French. Now, of course, in Louisiana, we have a lot of Spanish and um, French because our people speak Our people, that. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, why can't we learn Tui or um, um, another African 
language like mm -hmm. why isn't the importance on that especially to push people to travel abroad we've never oh no been US pushed want to us to stay in the u.s yes. like they don't want us to really go out i feel like and i agree like if we had some type of curriculum and it could be outside of school you know what mm. i'm saying but still connected with the school system um yeah. like 30 minutes an hour of a class teaching, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because they do other things uh, after class, mm -hmm. I mean, after school. So that would be dope. It really would be. So I agree with her saying you learn my st my um language. Mm -hmm. You think learning your language is so easy? There you learn go. Mine. There you go. Yeah. And I feel like especially, I find it humorous for American English people to try to correct people. Because, come on now. We all don't pronounce the English words correctly. I don't think nobody actually do. <laughs> and if you do, we can hear you trying really, really mm -hmm. hard. And then we'd be like, yo, relax. Right. And <laughs> relax a little bit. You, you... Go back. No, that's it. Just relax. <laughs> and throw in our accents. Yeah, yeah, our yeah. accents change by the city. Mm -hmm. So, by yeah. the city, literally. Like, yeah. every time you cross one, you're going to hear a different way of talking. Mm -hmm. You know, I was talking about this earlier. I feel like with with that happening, like, if you go to different cities, you can hear different accents. It's kind of like with different tribes, mm. right? So you have, in Africa, so many other different ways of speaking and saying things that when you come out here, you may hear somebody say, ba, and you may hear somebody say, boy. Or yeah. you might hear somebody say, over there. You might say, no, it's over there. Right. Like, all the, and it's different. It gets deeper than that as well, too. And it's unique. I like yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. So, I agree. Let's learn some other languages. Let's get it. What language y'all want to learn? Let us know in the comment section. All right. Like this video. We only know English. <laughs> <laughs> we can't teach Well, them. we know a little bit of Cajun. A yeah, we dip and dabble in that a little bit. We know a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Got some more seasons in yes. our Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks. If you would like to support the channel that way, as well as our joint feature to become a VIP member of the channel, sending your reaction requests through our subscri description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.